I also find it interesting as well on another flip side because my auto DM goes out and goes, hey, you know, check out my movies on Amazon or whatever. And like, I'll get responses from all these people around the world saying like, hey, I love your movies. I saw like, you know, this one or that one. And like all of them are always responding saying, oh, I love them or I've seen them. And my, my response is like either A, like a distributor owes me a lot of money that I don't know about or B, um, <laughs> or, sorry, that's so distracting. Uh, either A, a distributor owes me a lot of money I don't know about or B, which is I think the more likely one is, you know, things are probably getting downloaded on the internet a lot. Cause I mean, a perfect, a perfect instance of piracy is like, you know, a movie I did, um, uh, I won't say which one, but the first like month it was out, it only like shipped like 5,000 units. And then I looked at like one of those like piracy websites and it had something like 150,000 downloads. Wow. And I was like, wow, <laughs> like if I only had like a dollar for every single time that that happened, it, it'd be, you know, but at least they're watching them, right? Not advocating piracy, but do you think that it can ever help someone's career or that it can help a project in some way? I think sometimes, like you look at that movie, um, Inc., if you saw that, that movie was, they actually just released it for free online. They encouraged the piracy of it. So I think yes and no. I mean, personally, I'm, I'm against piracy because I think it's stealing, legitimately stealing um, from the filmmaker. And, you know, I know it's kind of weird to say, but it's like, yeah, it's messed up. To, to pirate stuff, but if you're gonna pirate stuff, at least don't pirate the indie films. You know, like the really low budget indie stuff, like, you know, the difference between, you know, one extra DVD and, and one extra download is like somebody's rent that month, possibly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, don't, I, I so I, it's like, I, I feel for people because I have like a lot of friends that like are at this and haven't really been doing like well with it because of, because of piracy. So. I, I mean, I want people to understand that it really does hurt the filmmaker. It really does, mm -hmm. you know? How do you think a lot of people in your generation um, and, and slightly older feel because they've gotten so much for free on the internet? How, how do they view it? I mean, the weird thing about it is like, you know, I will be talking to like friends, like friends from high school or like friends from, you know, from childhood, from like, you know, elementary school or whatever. People I've known for years and years. And I'll be like, hey, you should check out my new movie, blah, blah, blah. And they'll be like, they'll be like, oh yeah, sure. I'll just like download it. Or like, oh yeah, I'll watch it on like, you know, this website or whatever. And I'll be like, you're literally just telling me you're gonna steal from me. Like, would you really come up to me and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take $20 out of your wallet. Like, <laughs> no, but for some reason it's so like, okay amongst that. Like they, they, they actually think that it's, it's become so part of the culture that like it's fine when it's really not. Um, so I think if there's like a way to find, to like monetize that, like, you know, I think if we release like movies for free online with ads on them or something, that's at least better than, than, than having them stolen. But like, you know, you look at like those websites that have the movies hosted for free and all the all this traffic's driven to websites they're making money on those sites because like they are selling ad space on those sites those people are making a lot of money off of our hard work 